Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Star Trek FTL. Got the Romulan Disruptor Beam. Um, the NG ship is surrendering. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your stuff. If you if you explain that you're friendly, they just go away. <laughs> they don't give you anything, so you just accept. I uh, will explore. Sure, why not? Finding tons of scrap. Easy mode is so much fun to play on. You just get so much stuff. Defense drone mark two. This is going to be pretty straightforward, I think. They do have level 3 shields. Maybe we should part charge up the disruptor beam. Maybe we get lucky. Yeah, so the disruptor beam is pretty darn big. Basically covers the entire ship. Pierces all shields. I would like to have three of these. That'd be so cool. Be like, what shields? That is such a cool effect! Uh, no. Suppose we go up to level 4 shield soon? Cool cloak sound effect. I haven't really ever used the teleporter, have I? Well, we'll use it on the final ship. Okay, so he's got level 3 shields again. Actually, it looks like maybe if we... Nah, I guess I don't really care about the cloak too much. Boop, 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 boop. Gotta wait for that disruptor. We can't pierce these shields. Slow. Oh. I'm definitely thinking about level four shields for myself. That would be nice. Take a level three cloak, actually. I like being able to see the power usage. Alright, and shields down, so now we go. Zap. Zap. And now he's dead. Naturally. That Romulan Disruptor Beam, man. I love the variety. It's so cool. Okay, this is going to be a... Another situation where we need the disruptor beam. We could also start using drones again, if I actually find any. We definitely need to target the shield room. Don't be silly. Like that looks good. At least they don't have cloak this time. I still, man, I want a weapon pre-igniter with Romulan war beams. Romulan disruptor beams would be cool. Cool stuff. Look at the mantises scurry. <laughs> it's awesome. I love how quickly they run around. Where do they get the little fire extinguishers from? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm really just looking for stores at this point. See if we can buy any more cool weapons or cool effects. Um, Makes no no reason really not to uh, go up to level four shields at this point. The other thing we could do is it's just four people. If I teleported over there, two mantises, a rock, and a human versus three mantises and an NG, we could probably beat them. Of course, they're not very well, well skilled up in combat because I've never really used them. My own fault, but. Okay, have fun out there. Hmm. 
<laughs> Beth somehow just got better with shields. You can try to take down the oxygen, but there's no... Uh, do we want an, uh, another mantis? Not really. I guess he is actually taking... They actually are... Why is the intruder detected here? Just turn off the oxygen. That way this room will suffer. And then turn it back on. I know, mantises are probably a poor choice for who to repair it, but... Whatever. They'll get it done. 666 six, six, scrap! Uh-oh. That's scary. Got a Borg chronometric burst. Sweet. So we actually managed to pick up one of those weapons that was like 150 gold, uh, 150 scrap. This energy wave is a tactical Borg development that instead of great damage is focused on everything else. So disabling ships. That works really well with the JHS charge. Whatever that thing stood for again. And it only takes two power. So let's go with the... Uh... Okay, so shield piercing three. Let's let's chance going with this thing instead of the disruptor beam and just see how that goes. Hey, there is a store. Wonderful news. We'll hit that up on the way over. Uh, sure. 16 second cooldown on that. About the only thing that could make the ship any stronger, really, would be like a weapon pre-igniter. Save the NG or the drone schematic. Ooh, it's species 8472 repair pod. What is that? Automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hull. Drone part is consumed once it finishes. Oh, that's sad. It's really just a repair, repair drone. But it's cool. You know, I mean, it adds flavor to the game. But it's no different than regular. Uh, JHP pulse cannon. This old weapon is still very used by the Gem Hadar ships. It fires a continuous, simple energy projectile. Two power, four charge, one damage per shot. So it just fires very often. But this is not like the, the level two disruptor, the uh, ion blast. It's just regular damage. We got phaser array, strong version of the phaser array. We already have two of these. But man, can you imagine having three of them? Oh, I've actually taken ten damage? Jeez. Mm. I'm so tempted to take the phaser array just to have it, but... Nah. Alright, let's, uh, let's upgrade some stuff and then we'll decide. So, definitely level four shields. Need to have that. Need to have it powered. Okay, um, what else could we do? Could up the engines. I don't really need to worry about this. I hate this one. This one's so dumb. Yeah, there's just never a time where I'd rather not have a, an actual pilot. So, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven system power. We've got two, four, six. We would need nine. Which we can do. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Well, that's the lineup then. We didn't end up getting a weapon pre-igniter, which would have been awesome, but got a pretty cool setup now. So we'll use the phaser array just to take out those weapons. Actually, level three shields. So let's just shoot both of these at the shield room and see how that affects things. So this does one ion damage, three damage to systems. Okay. Let's just see how it, oh, it missed. Well, we're already down to two shields so we can pierce. 
I want more than one of those. I want to start as the Borg and play with that weapon. I'm going to turn off the oxygen so that when they actually open the door into this room, they it doesn't actually keep the oxygen running. There we go. That's fine. Okay. And from here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna blow him up. I'm gonna kill him. Wow. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Let's watch it. So it comes in, pierces three shields, does two damage to crew, three damage to systems. So it takes down the med bay. Well, it actually didn't take down the whole med bay. It did not do three damage to systems. Three damage to systems should have completely incapacitated the med bay. See, it's got... It did one... It's doing one damage to systems. Whatever, it's still good. You can't fix the engine. There's a hole in your ship. I just love it. Don't teleport over here. Uh-oh, he's wandering. He's dancing. Dance, dance. Dance like an ant. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so much fun. All this for a ship that only gives us one fuel, but still, it's fun. Next sector, the last stand, Federation base and range. Okay, here we are. No red shirts here. All right, let's just head straight for them. I would have loved a weapon pre-igniter. Uh, fight the ship. We'll just blow this one up pretty quick. Uh, target both there. Got to take down the shields before we can actually use the phasers. I also need that thing to not miss. Twice. We need it to not miss twice in a row. There we go. Okay. Looks like we got hit in the engine room. Kind of missed that, didn't I? Okay, Janeway, go heal up. Let this guy fix things. You guys are fully healed. We're fine there. Jamie's actually turned into a pretty good engine person. She always was pretty good at fighting uh, uh, with her science knowledge and stuff, right? Repair shop. We don't really need that. Let's just head to the ship. Time for you to advance and take it out. Sure, we'll fight it. Why not? Okay, um, we're going to target the shield room here. Uh, it's got level 3 shields. Damn. It's like the bane of our existence. Level 3 shields. There's a hole in your ship. Apparently not. <laughs> Two anti-personnel drones. That is not a ship you want to board. Yeah, I think you're dead. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> so much chaos. I love these weapons, they're so different. This guy's got two offensive drones, no defensive drones. This one might be, make more sense to actually board. I've had this, these four crew just standing on... Standing by the entire time. I'm so excited to play it again as the Borg ship, because I bet the Borg ship starts with things like the BC Burst. That would be awesome to get four of these things going. <laughs> I'm just so... it just appeals to me so much. Okay. What is this? Okay. I think we are ready to fight the boss. I'm going to actually wait and do that in the next video, though. So I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you again soon.